Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft has rolled out another insider preview build to the beta channel insiders who are on Windows 11 version 23H2. And that's with the update KB5055623, which bumps the build up to 22635.5170. Now, just a quick video to tell you what's new in this latest beta channel build. And the key highlight is something Microsoft actually temporarily disabled to address some issues and is now rolling out again for testing. Now, currently in the stable version of Windows 11, if you launch a File Explorer folder from your desktop, as an example, so it's outside of File Explorer, it will open up that folder in a window of the File Explorer. And if we head into our options, you currently have two options under Browse Folders. Open each folder in the same window or open each folder in its own window. Now, this is where Microsoft is introducing the new feature because Microsoft says that it's starting to roll out the change again so that when you launch File Explorer folders from outside of File Explorer, so as an example, from an app or from the desktop, by default now, they will now open in a new tab if you have an existing File Explorer window open. So what this will basically allow you to do at the end of the day, it will allow you to open folders in new tabs by default in the File Explorer if a file explorer window is open and i think this is a nice move in the right direction and has been a long time in the making now microsoft says that if you would prefer to continue opening in a new window like it currently is in the stable version you can change this in the file explorer folder options as mentioned under general browse folders open each folder in the same window that default now will change to open in a new tab so i think that's a nice move so that's something now that's in beta so i think that will at the end of the day make its way into the stable version i personally don't see why not and then just a quick run through as to what else is happening there are three key fixes they fixed an issue where when using increased text size the sign out and more option buttons may not be visible in the start menu account manager so that's a small little niggly issue and they also fixed an issue which was causing file explorer to crash in some cases when copying or renaming files in recent builds and then they also fixed an issue where if you typed in some apps they might stop working after disconnecting from a remote desktop session so those are just little tweaks and adjustments that Microsoft has made to iron out bugs in the beta channel. And then we get a known issue because in effect beta is still in preview. So that's just a quick overview as to what's new um, in the latest beta channel inside a preview build. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.